Hey guys, welcome back to today's Down and Dirty, continuing our GPS series uh, out here on the Retention Pond Project, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, click up above, go follow the vlog channel so that you kind of can keep track of what I'm doing. I also do a lot of teaching over on my vlog channel while I'm operating in real time. But getting back to today, we're going to continue our GPS series, and today we're going to talk about why you want to switch between your blade tips and what that does for you. So we're going to go into this button right here. This is our blade tip selection, and the little red triangle here indicates which tip we have our focus on. And then I want you to re recognize this little green line here. That's where the machine is getting its grade from. Our elevation is being controlled by that green line. And you can see right now I've got it set to where it flips with my tips. If I click and hold this button, it's going to take me into my focus channel, and I can manually click left or right which we can do from our main screen we don't care about that but what we can do here is we can do we always want our vertical guidance to be off of the left side always off of the center or always off of the right or we can link it to our focus so what we've been running in for the most part on this project is center which basically means let me show you here it's going to wherever the center of my blade is. So we, you can see right here on the grade, we have a little bit of a hip right here. And so I'm on the upper side of the hip. I'm still on the flat side of the hip. So if I engage my autos, oh, that's gonna give me an issue. Let me get moving a little bit. So it, there we go. So you can see that because I'm on this side of the hip, it's gonna keep it flat. But if I start to nose over, as soon as this cross point or our center point hits the cross point of our hip, our blade flips. Well, let's say in this situation, we're gonna turn our autos off. Let's say in this situation, what I wanted to do is actually run across, and this is a fairly common situation. I wanna run across the top here and I wanna grade it, but then I also wanna carry my spoils over the edge. So on my first pass, this is where we get into our blade selection, our tip selection. So I'm gonna change our focus away from center and I'm gonna say linked to focus. And for our first pass, I wanna stay focused on the flat area. And so we'll back up and I'm not gonna do any cutting right now because we've this is actually below grade. I'm not gonna mess with anything. But if I engage my autos, you're gonna see that we can get way over this edge. In fact, in all reality, I can get way over the edge and it's gonna to continue to carry whatever grade my left tip is over. So if we were in a real life situation, what I would do in this is I would climb back up here on my slope and I would go ahead and hit my autos and we would make our nice flat pass. And we would carry and we would be, you know, if we were actually pushing, I'd have my spoils all going off to the right hand side here. And then what we would do is we would now want to cut the beginnings of our slope but I wanna do it from up here on my flat area. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch my blade tip and now we're gonna focus on our right hand side. And because it's over the hit point, when I hit my autos, there it goes. And now I can run along this side and again, because I've got my blade angle, I, be, I can begin to nose in the side of our slope here and just begin to cut it in and I can get those spoils to roll off. And so we would go all the way down, really, and you can see we're starting to cut here because I've got some spoils built up. And so now that I've got that cut in, we're actually going to jump down in there. Now we're all the way on our slope, so it really doesn't matter which side we focus on. But now when I hit my autos, we're gonna continue to carry that grade that we started up top. And because this is a slope, you always wanna work your material downhill. We've already got our slope started at the top. If I angle my blade, I'm gonna push all of those spoils away from the edge and we get a really, really nice, clean hinge point over here off the left side of the machine. Another area when you would want to use this is in road building when you're working on the crown of the road. And so I'm not going to track over there because I'm not convenient and close, but we can go look at it on the GPS really quick. So let's look over here on the GPS and I'm going to change my 
vertical offset, which if you haven't seen that video, click up here to look at that one to see what I just did here. But we're gonna go to our road, which you can see is cut to grade. You have a center line going down the center of our road. And just so you guys know what's going on here, sorry, I'm getting you all discombobulated, aren't I? Which way do I wanna go here? I'm sorry guys, I'm messing with you, aren't I? Oh, now I'm messing with myself. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. I should be a better professional when making videos. So you're gonna see this line going down the center of the road and what that is, that is the crown point. So <clears throat> if you're unfamiliar with road building, when you build a road, you actually put a crown in it. And this is highly exaggerated, but basically to get water to drain off, you put a slope on each side. If we were making passes here in the middle, what I would do is if we were making passes on this side of the road, I would make sure my right tip is selected. And then we could actually track and straddle this crown and it would push all of the spoils off to this side. I would then, and again, we're straddling the crown with the actual machine. I would then come back and I would pick my other blade tip and I would make that same pass and angle my blade the other way. And what we've done is we've created a perfect crown in the road and pushed our spoils off this side and off this side. So that's why you want to switch blade tip focus and that's why you see me fooling with this in my videos. Now, I didn't realize at the time, I wasn't paying attention, that for the most part we've been on center focus, but this actually really comes into play uh, when you start doing any sort of, of um, work where you've got a pretty strong hip that you need to carry and make it nice and clean. So that's about all I'm going to cover in this video. Uh, I hope that kind of helps you understand what that's used for and why we use it. Now I am going to say in this retention pond when I go back down in there because everything I'm doing is straight in line, I am going to change this back to center focus. And it's because when you're doing slope work, we're going to get into it on a different video, but when you're doing slope work, you generally want to approach those head on so the machine can can understand what's going on and that's why I want center focus. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope this has been helpful as always. If you have questions or comments, drop them down below and we'll catch you guys on the next video.